Check down, count down that pad is clear. 10, 9, 8. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hello everyone, I'm Kate Tice, Quality Systems Engineering Manager here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for this morning's Starlink mission from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Thanks, Brandon, for coming to correct. Today's mission marks SpaceX's 205th overall launch, and it will fly the heaviest payload ever flown on a Falcon 9, weighing in at over 17,400 kilograms, or about 38,000 pounds, or about the weight of a fire truck. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicles or spacecraft. Weather and range are both green for launch, and we are proceeding with a T0 of 4.32 a.m. Eastern Time. Strong back lower has started. If lift off at just 4 minutes and 23 seconds from now, uh, we're standing by for TE retraction. Be able to see those clamp on around the base, around the base of the payload fair there top of the second stage.
At this point in time, fuel is fully loaded onto Falcon 9, whereas liquid oxygen, or LOX, load is currently underway on both the first and second stages. The second stage LOX load will complete at T minus two minutes, and first stage will wrap in just under 30 seconds from now. Coming up on completion of LOX load on the first stage. Stage one locks load complete. There we heard that call out confirming that the Falcon 9 first stage is fully loaded with its liquid oxygen as well as RP-1 or rocket, rocket propellant 1. And we're awaiting completion of locks load on the second stage, which will conclude in about 40 seconds from now. Coming up now to completion of locks load on the second stage. H2 locks load complete. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. Gas launch close out. Now the booster that you see on screen is flying for the ninth time today. It previously supported two crew missions, two CRS missions, as well as Turksat 5B, Utelsat Hotbird 13G, Empower A, and one Starlink mission. Reusability allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. Falcon 9 is in startup. At this point in time, the Falcon 9 flight computers now have control of the countdown. LD, go for launch. And there's our final go for launch tonight coming from the launch director. With that in mind, let's tune in to the last few seconds of the countdown. T minus 30 seconds. Seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. And lift off of Starlink. Five dash two. Go Falcon. Go Starlink. As you can see, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying 56 Starlink satellites. Now the M1D engines on the first stage are about to throttle down in preparation for max Q, or the, Power and telemetry nominal. or the moment of maximum loads on the vehicle, which occurs just after T plus one minute. Supersonic. Falcon 9 is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. 
their Falcon 9 has reached the maximum dynamic pressure that it will feel during flight. At this point, we're about one minute until main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation and second engine start. Those events happen in very quick succession, one right after the other. Following along with the telemetry at the bottom left-hand side of your screen, we can see that Falcon 9 is now 36 kilometers above the Earth's surface, quickly gaining. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. All right, and there's our first look of our Starlink satellite payload this evening on there, formerly on the right hand side of your screen. Right hand side will be that second stage tracking camera. Left hand side of your screen will be the first stage. You can just barely make out the lights of the Florida Space Coast there in the top left hand corner of that left side screen. Both of the fairing halves flying on today's mission are flight proven. One of those halves flew for the fifth time and the other a sixth. We will attempt to recover those fairing halves again using our recovery vessel, Bob. Today's mission marks SpaceX's sixth launch of the year. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite in internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people li living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Checking in with that stage one telemetry there at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, we can see that that first stage is no longer gaining in altitude. It is close to its apogee, so currently it is still going... Acquisition up. signal, Bermuda. Currently it's still going up, though very a uh, lot slower than it was, as we saw, and now it has begun to descend. So it's now reached its apogee, and it will begin to make its way back to... Planet Earth targeting a thing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Everything looking nominal there with that second stage carries Starlink satellites. Starlink is currently live in 44 countries. And 54 markets around the world. Both vehicles following nominal trajectories. The next event we have coming up in one minute will be the stage one entry burn. That will be the first of two burns that the first stage will perform this morning. That burn includes reigniting three of those M1D engines. We relight the center engine as well as two radial engines to perform that entry burn, which helps slow the booster down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. 
can see that altitude is now decreasing uh, rather quickly. That entry burn will help slow that vehicle down. Ten seconds away from entry burn startup. Stage one entry burn startup. That call out, that burn has begun. Stage two FTS has saved. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one, also known as the booster, has ignited the three engines to slow it down for that atmospheric reentry. Stage one entry burn shut down. As I mentioned Both earlier, vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. The first stage flying today is flying for the ninth time. Expected loss of signal, Cape. Stage one is transonic. There we heard that call out indicating that the first stage sonic, meaning it's traveling near the speed of sound. And in about 22 seconds, we should have that landing burn on the first stage. Terminal guidance. That landing burn in one engine, where we relight the center engine, attempt to land on our drone ship. Stage one landing burn. That landing burn has now begun. Stage one landing light deploy. Stage one landing is confirmed. There we can see on the left-hand side of your screen that the first stage has stuck the landing Get once again. Down. Great view from our drone, our drone ship just made the instructions. We parked a couple hundred miles off the coast of Not Florida. And we also just heard the call out that we have a good orbit for the second stage. At this point in time, that second stage is carrying those 56 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. And with our Starlink satellites in orbit, that MVAC engine, beautiful uh, horizon there. Uh, Earth in the background behind those starlinks. Now with those in orbit, we'll bring our webcast to a close. Be sure to check social media for confirmation of deploy. Thanks to both the FAA and the range for their support today. And also thanks to you for joining us bright and early this morning. We'll see you next time.